The latest thing on the chopping block is the gas stove. A government agency has floated the idea of a national ban on them, based on fraudulent studies, that they cause health and respiratory problems. You say that they can never get away with it? Think again. Regulators are unbearably powerful. They have every intention of carrying out their wishes, and they enjoy every minute of it. They have disdain for Congress and scoff at your protests. They believe they alone are in charge and you have nothing to say about it. All this should be a clue about what's going on. There are sadists in charge of the regulatory apparatus. It's not really about saving water and energy. Even if it were, that alone would be objectionable. The whole point of energy and water is to serve the human experience, not to impose privation on the planet. The only technology these people approve of is a thoroughly censored smartphone. They want everything to work like that, centralized, anodyne, and feeding you non-stop propaganda. The very notion that an electric stove is better than a gas one would be disputed by any competent chef in the entire world. Instead of cultivating instincts based on what you see in the flames, you must trust some digital display to know the temperature. The flames, that regulators say is bad for our health tells all that you need to know about them. They want us living in a fully sanitized, boring, and unworkable environment in which we never have contact with anything real. Do you see what's happening here? It's all deliberate. All the things we love and that make life grand are being taken away from us. The larger truth here is that this war on civilization has been going on for decades. History is supposed to move forward with ever higher living standards. That progress has stopped. The trajectory must end now. Decades of regulations need to be repealed. The whole population needs to rise up and say no to the forced austerity and rule by the elite cadre of techno-primitivists. They have driven down the standard of living by force and are far from done with us yet. There's a mighty revolt afoot in the land today. It's about time.